We've got some updates today for the British faction that will be coming to Hella Loose in the future, mainly their weapons and the two new maps that will be coming with them. So we'll go through the weapons first, then the maps. Now, SMGs, they're going to be getting the Lanchester Mark 1 SMG. And this was an SMG that is pretty much a copy of the German MP28. The gun was envisioned as a weapon for guarding prisoners and accompanying naval landing and assault parties. And apparently it was a very solid, well-made SMG with high quality materials. And in many ways, the complete opposite of its direct contemporary, the Sten. And the Sten is probably more well known than the Lanchester. And even when I was going through theories of what weapons could come for the British faction, I didn't even think about the Lanchester. But the Sten, it is coming and it's pretty much developed as a cheaper alternative to the Lanchester SMG. It was also a lot cheaper to produce the Sten than getting the Thompsons from the Americans. Apparently the Thompsons were about $200, while building a Sten would only cost about $11. So yeah, the Sten was widely produced. Next we have the Bren gun, and this was actually developed or licensed from Czechoslovakia, originally being the ZGB-33 LMG, and yeah, the Bren gun became Britain's main LMG during World War II. I think many people know this and have seen this. It's been pretty much every World War II game that's ever been created. And it's going to be interesting to see which role will actually get the Bren because we also have the Lewis gun come in. And the Lewis was originally designed in the US and mass produced over here in England. And it's got a top mount in Pan Magazine. And it was more like used in World War I compared to World War II. And now we need to think about which role is going to get the Bren and which role is going to get the Lewis. And I think the machine gunner role is probably going to get the Lewis. Mainly because of simply it holds more bullets in its magazine. The Lewis gun has a 47 or a 97 round magazine. While the Bren gun generally by default I guess you could say would have a 30 round magazine. But also it could have a 100 pan round mag as well. But I think the Bren's just going to have 30 round. So, yeah, the Lewis, I think, is going to go to the MG role, and I think the Bren will go to the automatic rifleman. And, of course, we have the Piat. The Piat was the British anti-tank weapon, and it's pretty much like a portable mortar. But its effective range was approximately about 105 meters, so I think in Hell Let Loose, it's going to be probably a bit weaker than the other anti-tank launchers we currently have, because while it may be difficult to hit long-range targets with you know, the Bazooka or the Panzer Shrek. I think it's going to be a lot easier to actually hit long-range targets with those compared to the Piat. And we're getting two bolt action rifles with the British. The standard Lee Enfield rifle number 4 Mark 1. It was just the standard bolt action rifle that the British used. But we're also getting the World War One version they used called the Lee Enfield Pattern 1914. And really, like all bolt action rifles in the game, they operate in the same way, they do the same amount of damage, I think it's just going to be that little bit of variation for the British forces. Pretty much just having like a different weapon with a different iron sight. That's all it's going to be about. Which iron sight do you prefer out of these two weapons? And then lastly, we have the Webley Mark VI handgun, cool little revolver, and the Fairburn Sykes knife. Now onto the tanks that the British forces will be getting. And what I think is the heavy tank is the Sherman Firefly. Now it's based off the M4 Sherman tank, but it's been fitted with a bigger gun, a 17 pounder anti tank gun. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to the Firefly coming, and now 100% confirmation. The medium tank is going to be the Cromwell. But I think the British will be getting an extra medium tank down the line because of the plans the devs have to sort of limit what equipment and stuff is available for each force based on when a battle was actually taken place. The Cromwell actually first saw action in 1944. So if we get any pre sort of Normandy invasion maps for the British, I don't think they're going to be using the Cromwell. So we could get another one down the line. We also get a little look at the Bedford transport truck. And yeah, of course, it's going to be a covered version for the supply truck. And the light tank is going to be the Tetrarch. Again, with the devs plans of having each map being like historically accurate when it comes to equipment the tetrarch never actually saw deployment in the north african campaign so again i think the british will probably get another light tank down the line 
And the recon vehicle we're getting is the Daimler. And yeah, it's just a cool sort of looking big beefy car. We also get a quick look at two British uniforms that will be in Hell at Loose. This one you see now is the commander's outfit. And yeah, it's the best commander outfit, obviously. I mean, look at it. It looks awesome. And then we get the British standard uniform with its sort of goofy helmet. I'm just wondering if we're going to get uniforms for other forces in the Commonwealth, such as you know, Canada and Australia and many others. And now the two maps we're getting. Yes, we know El Alamein is one of them. Here is the overview map for it. It looks like we're getting a lot of different variations in terrain level. It looks like there's quite a bit of uh, hilly areas. There's a whole point which is down in the valley, which is funny enough called valley. I think the airfield hangars, I think a lot of people are going to be wanting to fight over that. And we get a big airstrip towards the British lines as well. I think this could be quite an interesting map. And the second map, which is taking place during Operation Market Garden, is Driel. And Driel seems to be where the Polish airborne actually dropped during Operation Market Garden. And I can't actually find that much information about specifically British forces being at Driel. What I can just really find is the Polish. So maybe Hell Let Loose is just sort of changing what they mean by historical accuracy and putting the British there instead. Either that or I'm terrible at researching stuff. I also have a big fear looking at the map. Here's the overall tactical map. There's a bridge in the middle and I'm getting Ray Morgan flashbacks instantly i haven't played ray morgan in a long time so there could only be one way across the middle of the map again but if we look at the left where we have the brick factory in the boatyard there is some raised land so maybe you can get across that way there are some little black lines which could be like pontoon bridges or something so it could be something like another way to get across and on the far right where the gun emplacements and the banks are there is a crash plane. You can see some small little bits of land. So maybe there's another way to get across there. If this is going to be another map. But there's only one way across. I can see like Ray Margin. Just that map pretty much never appearing in server rotation again. So that's our update for Hell Let Loose. The British weapons we're getting. And the two maps we're getting with the British launch. Let me know what you think of this update down in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, join as a member down in the bottom left or my Patreon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.